for 30 years, no serious dig was done here. And now we're starting to dig again. And for us, it's very exciting. It and looks and sounds like any archaeological tour. Here, a handful of Austrian tourists visiting the biblical site where scripture says the sanctuary for the tablets of the Ten Commandments resided for nearly four centuries. Many groups like you come here, and all the groups that come here, they look for one thing. They ask, where is the tabernacle? And I want to know the story of the Bible. And so we try but this is hardly your standard tourist fare. Transported in a bulletproof bus, these evangelical Christian travelers are visiting the Israeli settlement of Shiloh, and land that Israel occupied after its 1967 war with Arab neighbors. On our left, we could see um, the local grocery shop and where the mill is. And they say the tour is part of a growing so effort by some of Israel's 300,000 West Bank settlers to speak directly to foreigners and other Israelis about why they choose to live on land claimed by Palestinians and continue to build houses that the international community views as illegal. In the past, Shilat Kahalani is one of the organizers of the tours and says the aim is to explain the Jewish connection to the land and why Israel cannot quit the settlements. We know that if people just opened their eyes and saw, then they would see the truth. And what we see on the media and what we see, the picture that's drawn um, of us abroad is, is not true. She shares her political views with her Austrian guests, explaining that few properly understand settlers' relations with the Palestinians. In that sense, they do enjoy a, stand, a higher standard of living thanks to the Jewish population that lives here. So um, I think it's important to know, and it's not always said out loud in the news. It's a narrative rejected by the West Bank's 2.5 million Palestinians who say that scores of settlements like Shiloh deny the viability of a future Palestinian state and constitute nothing more than an Israeli land grab. But for this group of pro-Israel Christians, the message of the tour appears to resonate. I think just that in, in the European and American countries, people don't know too little about the real facts here. They hear about settlements and things. Everybody is building random. And if you come here, you see how much space there is. And you really ask the people and get the history of the place, then it's a different picture. <laughs> While in many instances these tours are preaching to the already converted, settlers here believe they are making a difference. I know that it has changed many things. I know that people have changed their minds just, just walking around, not even without me saying anything. <laughs> For the settlers in Shiloh, it is the power of the Bible, they say, that ultimately gives them faith that the settlements are here to stay. Kevin Flower, CNN, Jerusalem.